Yeah. Down here under a bridge, on the river, fishing. God damn. Freaking guys just shot off of that abandoned bridge. It's gonna be pretty simple stuff right here. Um, drill some holes around brush piles and uh, drop a jig down there and catch some crappie. It's uh, pretty simple. So, yeah, let's get at it. Okay, I'm only at the whew, right at the four inch mark. Got my auger mark to drop it down in there and catch the lip of the ice on this, and I can measure. That's three, that's four, five, six. I'm only about three and a half, four inches. Tied up just in front, real quick. Um, it is downsizing a little bit, not as far as jig body, but head. It does have a, a one for it does have a 130 second jig head on it. Give me a heart attack, man. Give me a heart attack, man. Freaking guys just shot a freaking pigeon off of that abandoned bridge. Surely they didn't know I was here. That's that's goddamn ridiculous. We are in a we are in a wildlife refuge, but man, you gotta know what you're shooting at. Hey folks, how we doing? Had to stop the video here for a second. I misspoke. Uh, this is not a game preserve, but it is public hunting, okay? Either side of these bridges, it is public, um, a public wildlife hunting area. Now, that bridge there is an, is an abandoned bridge. Um, it's got barricades across it. There's some abandoned roads leading up to it that are barricaded off. Um, now, it is public hunting area. Now, can you shoot from the roadway and from that bridge? Because um, I'm pretty sure them guys were, but um, is that is that legal? I I don't know, but anyway, haven't even wetted a line yet, but I'm about to. Uh, here we go. We're gonna let this stop us. Let's get him. Wow. This world never ceases to amaze.
There's no way they knew I was standing here. I don't know what angle they shot at, but don't matter. It's pretty ridiculous. Whoa, insta bite. All right. Say sorry about the noise. These bridge pillars we're up against all this brush jam here is uh it is a highway. Oh. Such a quick bite. Wow. Slowly lifting up. Give it a tiny, tiny jig every now and then. There he is, little guy. Okay. Wow. They're they're thumping it, but barely holding on to it. But they're not they're not holding on to it at all. It's it's a good it's a good thump. But I mean they're just they're spitting it out as soon as it touches their lips. Piece of concrete fell off the bridge. Wow. Or six and eight inch fish. That's all right. Rice fishing. Lakes. Lakes aren't quite ready to ice fish yet. I don't believe. I can't imagine. Got three inches on the river here. Who knows? We might head that way. Ooh, there's a little better one. <laughs> yeah, nine inch or better. Felt heavier though compared to what I've been catching. The 
the shrub and that. You see I got this flake and this nib powder all over my fingers. Just rubbing it on there. It might be the better thing to do than loading up with a nib every fish because for some reason the nibs are coming off every every fish here. They sometimes they'll last a fish or two or three. I think they would stand on stay on there pretty good seeing I'm not casting. Just staying vertical here, not really thrashing that jig around or anything. So hey. All right. Hey, keep a 10 inch fish there. All right. All right, I gotta keep. Cool. Go see what we got going on over here. Okay, pretty good mess of, pretty good tangle of brush up against this pillar here. Okay. And uh, we're real close to the bank, but we're on the bluff side of the river. Okay. This side of the river is a bluff, so that water drops off. The bank drops off into the water steeper and quicker. So, but got three here. Got one punched up there next to the pillar. One here, about four foot out. Another one. So, just start up shallow. Probably not very deep here. Should be lots of lots of snags down there though. fish it was down deep all right there's a bite a small one about seven or eight inches now when I was over there on the other pillar, as soon as the sun reached out behind it, the fish turned off. So let's see what happens here. Of course, there he is. Let's keep. All right. He was he was down on the bottom. He thumped it pretty good. Only about six foot. Hit him about six foot deep. So. There he is. Smaller one. There he is. He jumped on out of there. Try this other new hole.
haven't fished this one yet. There he is. All right. That's what I'm talking about. He's heating up. We're at about 11 o'clock now, and uh, we're kind of making a surge. There he is. Right. A little bit bigger fish out here on this deep ridge. Okay, so besides the concrete almost falling my head and getting shot at and um, whatever, risking your life on some ice, pretty good day. Man. That sounds good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hey, uh, gonna get on out of here um sorry about the noisy bridge it's just what comes along with it um bridge fishing it's an easy place to get to some brush piles i've talked about it before and uh, there's fish there there's water there brush piles equals fish okay pretty simple pretty simple deal today um, punch a hole in the ice next to a brush pile drop a jig down there and boom got some fish it is that easy okay hit the sub button if you like it um, leave a comment please and uh yeah we'll see you at the next spot all right later